It's a mysterious and relatively unknown part of the water cycle. Scientists are still trying to understand how much groundwater there is in Australia and how it contributes to the system. And they found a unique way of measuring it in a very natural laboratory. Environment reporter Sarah Clark travelled to the Wellington Caves in central western New South Wales for this report. It's not your typical research laboratory, but these scientists are going 35 metres underground to get on top of how groundwater works. Groundwater is a really important resource. Uh, often we don't really understand its age and its source. In these caves, the entire groundwater flow cycle is here for all to see. Every drip that enters the cave system can be logged and measured and scientists can record how much seeps into the water tables. So we can actually capture the water as it comes into the roof of the cave and we can also measure the water that's sitting in the groundwater uh, which we can see in the pools. And these stalagmites and stalactites are a crucial part of this work. Not only can they help with the understanding of the flow regimes of groundwater, they can also record the climate variability of the past. Above ground, all of the information is being shared. These recruits are the first to be trained in the specialist field on how to measure rainfall, soil water, river and groundwater. It's definitely an unknown and what we're learning is just all the variables, even more so that we're finding out in the data that we use every day and that's really important. Someone presents that data to you um, in a report, you can you know, look at that and sort of digest it a bit better and actually go, aha, you know, this is, this is how they've done it. It's a complicated process that scientists hope will shed more light on how water can be better managed. Sarah Clark, ABC News, Wellington.